All right, we've got Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. I thought this book was extremely interesting. It was the first book I read by a Stoic from back in the day. I was introduced to, to Stoic philosophy by way of The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And I immediately, I read that book probably eight years ago. And from there, I immediately tried to read Meditations, but I got a different translation. And it was just, I couldn't, I just couldn't. I tried and it was just, I just couldn't do it. So I got this translation probably seven months ago or something and straight up, you're looking for the correct translation. This is the one, get this book. So uh, without going into all the details, Mar Marcus Aurelius, he was a Roman emperor and these are just his thoughts. He wasn't writing, he, he didn't write a book to be published. He just wrote down his thoughts and when, you know, after he, after he died, this was published. So that drew me in more as well because he's not writing this book to try to, you know, make a name for himself or, you know, not make a name for himself, but, you know, accumulate fame, accumulate money. He's just writing these thoughts for himself. So that's extremely interesting to me. And he's basically just, he was basically just this Roman emperor trying to understand himself and understand the world. And also, you know, sort of live a, what I would say, live a peaceful life. And, but it's not like he's like, you know, live a peaceful life by pretending that, you know, everything's just amazing. I mean, he's a Roman emperor. So no, he's facing tons of stuff. So, and he teaches us how to face, basically sort of the, the gist is like how to face adversity and keep your peace in a way. Uh, just something random that I underlined that it's just, you know, it, it's just straightforward to the point And it's just like, you know, just makes you think. <laughs> so it just says, uh, to expect a bad person not to harm others is like expecting fig trees not to secrete juice, babies not to cry, horses not to neigh, the inevitable not to happen. So it's this thing where it's like, dude, people are like, it is what it is. Life is the way that it is. You, you can't just expect to have a, just an amazing life every single day where just everyone's amazing and it's just peace and joy and happiness. And we're all just, World peace. That's not, that's not the world we live in, at least not right now. So people are the way that they are, and there are, you know, quote unquote, bad people. And if you, if you expect them to not be bad, dude, you're going to be upset all the time. You're just going to live your life upset. So, you know, just because someone's a quote unquote, bad person doesn't mean it needs to steal your peace, steal your joy, steal your focus, steal your energy. And so it is a very practical book. And I thought it was extremely interesting. I'll probably, re I, honestly, I, I, as I'm holding it, I'm like, I want to read this again right now. So I highly recommend this to anyone, anyone who is interested in Stoic philosophy or just philosophy in general, but anyone who just wants a practical book on living a better life from someone, you know, who lived a crazy life. 